What's going on guys? So we are out here at ROA Off-Road at their Experience Center just south of Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, with the most beautiful backdrop I've ever seen. Look at those mountains. Absolutely beautiful setup here. We are going to be taking a look at another off-road, extreme off-road capable travel trailer. This one is a Palomino Paws. And you may remember seeing one of the original Pauses being revealed on my channel from the Elkhart Dealer Show not too long ago. But yeah, we've spent a lot of time out here looking at all of these super cool, super capable off-road RVs. And every single one that we've looked at is probably more capable of going off-road than the vehicle you're towing it with. With me today, I got Shane. Shane is one of the owners out here at ROA Off-Road, and uh, he's going to give us a quick tour of this Palomino Paws and uh, show us what it's all about. Yeah, and let me make a quick disclaimer. Uh, here out in Utah, we do not actually carry the pauses. They're just here for video and marketing purposes. We do have a dealer in South Carolina where these are on the ground and you can go look at and see. We also ship to anywhere in the country, so if you want one of these, we can ship it right to your doorstep. Perfect. But uh, I'm going to show you first one of the cool things about about this trailer is it's a smart trailer and you can control everything on your phone on an app right there I just turned on all the lights outside you can see that anything you want to control on this whether it's the heat you can adjust the temperature on the fly while you're driving your car you get to camp mm -hmm. you can have the air conditioner on 30 minutes prior the heat on uh, over here we have our big large 30 pound propane tanks of course for your heat and your grill mm -hmm. outside and real quick almost everything on this RV is aluminum the frame, the, the whole yeah. frame, yeah, the aluminum. The frame is aluminum. All the cabinetry is aluminum. This is aluminum. These are composite material, and this is a PVC extrusion. So crazy, so, crazy well built. They put this articulating hitch. It has an articulating hitch with does. like a coupler, but they upgrade it to a much more robust one that's actually manufactured in Australia. Yeah, it is. Yep, so absolutely. Super cool. Yeah, so coming over here, this is just a storage compartment. You have some extra space right there. Throw in some gear. Uh, right here you have the other side of the uh, kitchen. You don't have a lot of storage. You have about this much storage to right there because it's the kitchen is reasonable right amount. Up. Yep. And then you have your outside ports for extra solar. The trailer comes stock with 600 watts of solar on the roof. Um, but if you want, you can upgrade and they'll give you an extra 600 watts. Okay, real quick, the windows. So these are a really, really cool window because what uh, what Shane was telling me is that the folks at Palomino really wanted to make this as US built as possible. So what they did was they actually contacted the folks at Lippert and had them produce an acrylic dual pane window to compete with the acrylic windows from Europe that everyone's been putting on their RVs. So yeah, so now there's a US manufactured dual pane acrylic window that comes on here, which is super nice. Yeah, and you also have light around all around the entire trailer and camera you have 360 degree camera ladder to the roof um, black and gray tank you have a 76 gallon water tank that's insane Th this is an access to your water pump and a filter too how thick these doors are too yeah they're it, so the, the composites inch and a half thick so they had to make the door an inch and a half thick almost yeah. yeah and there's no there's no seams there's no frames it's all frameless which is really important for um insulation purposes absolutely really nice upgraded latches oh yeah shackles on it as well um we're going to showcase the suspension because this has first of all remote control suspension that is utilizing airbags to fill it up there's an air compressor in there we don't need to raise it up here because the one right here we did a full video on and we showed you what it looked like so i'll actually just overlay some of the footage from that one so they can see that thing can raise 12 inches the suspension can lift 12 inches. When we lifted it up, I was in here. The ladder started coming off the ground. The bumper, which is right here, was right here. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. The uh, You also have your max tracks. Those are recovery boards. Uh, you can open this up. This is, this is a Jeep uh, carrier that he found from SEMA. And then this drops down and you have a little tray you have your lights right here that you can access, turn on back there. And then in there, we have the fully loaded, which is 1,080 amp hours of Battleborn Lithium. If you didn't hear them, 1,080 of Battleborn Lithium. And man, that's a really nice, expensive looking uh, solar system you have there. Yeah, what, what do you have going? All Victron. All Victron. Victron. And it is all integrated into the Garmin system and it works through that app, your phone, whatever you, however you want to get to it. It also has the remote access uh -huh. where it goes through satellite. And so Victor oh, wow. can access it anywhere. 
in the glove. That is super much. cool. Love the new yeah. handle here. Yep. Awesome. Nice thick doors all the way around. Yeah, and these are, a, this is a full steel bumper. <laughs> so even, even if you did oh bash gosh. it off-road, you're... This is a true off-road RV from Palomino. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's I, crazy. Yeah, and I love, I had my Starlink, you know, we were in Moab with no cell service whatsoever. So I just plugged my Starlink right here and just had it running the whole time. You know, what's kind of interesting though. You're in the middle of the ZA and they can't scratch through this wall. Yeah, so this thing took like all day abuse from people hitting it with a sledgehammer during the Elkhart dealer show. It was pretty insane. Yeah, it's pretty pretty fun. It's, they're strong walls, so. Yep. Love this. This is super cool. I call this the food truck setup because <laughs> this opens up like all the way. Yeah. And then people are down here eating. You can just hand them their meal. Well, we have a scene where I was out watching football and the TV actually swivels all the way out here so you can like tailgate. And watch, oh, that's super cool. Watch TV, yeah. Very and cool. then coming over here, you have a little storage area where you can put some food. It's magnetic. Hold it up out of the way. You have a sh uh, faucet, hot and cold for your sink. And then a dual zone Truma fridge light Truma. out here. Good stuff. And then you have this. This is total 36,000 BTUs, 12,000 each burner. Wow. Uh, really good. Then I think this even pulls up for more yeah, space. This, yeah, this comes out and then you have a... These slide out. And that flips over. Yep. Again, they thought of everything. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, they did not go cheap on this. They looked for some of the best components yeah. and that's what they did. And that's coming from somebody who sells probably some of the most outrageously off-road capable and relatively pricey travel trailers on the market. Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm really impressed with this company. I'm, I was, I'm shocked in how well they did. Yep, Check all lights are gonna come on yep. the... via his smartphone app. Okay, there we go. All right, let's wander around in here a little bit. So just like the previous one we showed you, this is gonna be kind of like a jackknife sofa. This is gonna unfold over it. Uh, the folks here at ROA were actually able to convince the folks at Palomino to switch from a four inch thick to a six inch thick mattress. So yeah, new models are gonna have a much more comfortable mattress in them. Yeah, for sure. I love the front windows. I love the fact that they still put those same really awesome little uh, blackout blinds and shades on them. Very cool, a lot of light. Yep, we have the dual pane acrylic windows. We got the hooks up top. We have the Palomino paws next to us that we did a whole video on, so definitely check that out. Yeah, we also have some, uh, that's the 360 camera. Oh, you can cool. go all, and you can change all this. That's the back. And it actually has a speaker and there's a side entry so you can see somebody at your door. Uh, this so is cool. where, you, the, where the app is that controls everything. You go to lighting too, and it gives you like the ability to dim the lights. Mm -hmm. So you can actually dim them down. Really nice skylight with lighting around it. All aluminum cabinetry, even though it looks like it's wood, it's actually all aluminum. All soft closing, magnetic latches, huge stainless steel base and sink. Nice solid surface top mount, three burner Furion cooktop. Same type of cooktop you see in very high-end fifth wheels. Yeah, and you have a large oven in yeah, here. Yeah, that is. This one, uh, I think it's a Safiri mm -hmm. one inches. Uh, you have also your vacuum, your sweeper, fully mm -hmm. with hose, yep. and then a very large microwave. Absolutely. And very large refrigerator too. I mean, who would have thought you'd see a full French door refrigerator or side-by-side, -side, whatever you call these. What are these called? It's not the French door, it's like a, yeah, side by it's, side, I it's think. Massive. Yeah. I don't even think they call it cubic feet, it's cubic yards. <laughs> it's ridiculous to even see one of these in a travel trailer of any type. I know, it's massive. That's crazy. This bathroom is very. You got a very large TV for the size, and then of course, this is where you prep all your food when you start selling hot dogs to people but <laughs> know, right? this is super cool. I mean, check this out. Yeah, this is this is a nice thing. So this one does sleep uh more than Okay, cool. I did not expect that to happen just now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's the crazy. Little, the little kiddos. Uh, teddy yeah, bear. little kiddos. Shoot, you got a but, but an adult. Yeah, you got an adult spacing right there. Let me see here. And everything is set up just so you know, right? If you look back right here, you have the uh, uh, router. They actually have internet on board. That is super cool. Via Wine Garden. Talk about well equipped. And then check out this shower. My goodness. This is crazy. It's got sprayers here. 
It's got sprayer up top, it has the wand. This is an Encore one-piece shower, super high-end shower. Has a 3D printed wall. That is really cool. So that's not ink, that's actually printed into the wall. Yeah, then you have your some storage there. You have more storage there. Down low where the toilet paper holder is. This is where I was putting my dirty clothes hamper. I'm always looking yeah. for dirty clothes hampers and trash can areas. Nice drawers all the way down. Yep, all soft and clothing. That's just an access panel. Porcelain sink in here. Nice upgraded faucet. Solid surface countertop. I gotta admit, this thing is is absolutely amazing. It, it, it really, really is. Yeah, like we were really shocked, right? Pa uh, oh, plugs, outlets. There's an outlet right there. There's two behind the TV. There's a uh, one here. You got a couple here. There's one here, right? Yep. There's two back hidden behind the headboard. So you have like two there, two there. And <laughs> it's lots and lots of outlets if you need a charge. I mean, you got a 1,080 amp hour. Yeah, you do. You might as well so. use it on something. <laughs> exactly. And then you got this super high-end Truma air conditioning system. Yeah. You know why you don't see that on fifth wheels? Because it's too dang expensive to put on fifth wheels. And yeah, they put the nicest thing they could in the, in this unit. Yeah, he, he, really, he really did his research and was just looking for what he thought was the best thing on the yep. market. And, and he and he searched, he said he spent, they spent two to three years researching and designing this, the guy that was in charge of the Paws division, right? And he's just like, he researched Australia, Europe, and found what the best of the best were doing. And so he's very proud of it. I mean, I'm when they called us, we were like, I don't know. I, I We were very reserved thinking, big Forest River Palomino. And when we went out, first of all, number one question that I always ask when we're working with a manufacturer is, are they users? Are they passionate about what they're doing? Or are they looking just to sell something, right? Mm -hmm. And, and you know, the main guy that's in charge, he loves camping he, and he loves quality. And so we said, let's go for it. This is a really cool, and you can tell the product is really nice. Yeah, so. it's totally different than anything else I've ever seen at Forest River. Yeah. You know, from sure. any of their lines. That's crazy. Um, you know, pricing wise, we talked about that in the previous video. I'm assuming this is probably around the same price yeah, as the one the next to us. Price, actually. So between about 140 and 160, depending on how yeah, it's equipped. Yeah, depending on how you option it and stuff. Yeah, but you can pick one up for around the 140 mark. Yep, and comparatively speaking, to brands that people generally associate with this level of quality, it would be probably right comfortably in there, right? Yeah. You're, you're, you're not looking at a unit that is so much more expensive than its competition, but I would argue to say that this comes more equipped than a lot of the other units that are in the same price. And to me, I'm always thinking a lot of the products that we sell, I feel like are similar quality and reputation as like the Airstreams. Yeah. The only difference is Airstreams don't go off-road. They don't have hardly any solar. Their battery banks are lead acid batteries, maybe lithium if you're lucky mm -hmm. that is. Like to get the amount of solar, lithium, and then also the off-road capability with the, and the sidewall the travel, the sidewall. Oh yeah, aluminum, yep. like those airstreams are notorious for condensation. Yeah. And like, I have not experienced any condensation in this unit because this is the whole windows are polymer, mm -hmm. right? There's no aluminum ex, um, ex, aluminum here to condensate. The walls, I'm not experiencing it. So I'm, I'm really happy with this product. I, I love all of our yeah. trailers, but this has been a really exciting. It's been an eye opener for me. Oh, yeah, for yep. sure. Yep. So yeah, this is a really, really cool unit. It. Again, when you, when we do our little comparison of off-road capability, this is probably going to be in that same six to yeah. seven out of ten. Not because it's not off-road capable, just because it's really heavy and it's very large for what it is. Yeah, and and to me, six is off-road. That's right? crazy like, off-road still. Yeah, we're saying it, the the embers are three and a half, right? Yeah. So that's like double more. Yeah. You know, they're heavy trailers, and that's the biggest thing. But very, as far as clearance, these are the best. This mm -hmm. has 25 inches of clearance when it's in its max height. That's right? insane. It's it's it, that's it really more is. than anything out there on the market, yep. even Jeeps, right? Yep. So very capable. Yep. Well, I really appreciate you having me out here. The next RV you guys see is uh, it's going to be a pretty special unit, right? Oh. And uh, it's inside of the showroom and. It's going to be really cool. So now is a perfect time to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to their channel, which yeah, is... It's ROA, Off-Road or RVs of America. Yep. And if you guys haven't had a chance, again, subscribe. Take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again real soon.